Hey there everybody, Kopiki here. Welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2. In the last episode, we managed to end up completing bits and pieces of uh, ah, a space paranoia, helping Tron get the DTD, and also retaining his pro getting his powers back. Managed to defeat the program that was about to end up harming Hollow Bastion, and now the organization, or the Heartless's plans, are trying to come into play. The king went ahead by himself. We have to hurry after him. That explosion came from outside, right? Must be awful out there. This looks like it's gonna be a long battle. Are you ready, Sora? And Goofy is not wrong on that. It's actually this is kind of the part that the the the, the part's probably gonna be like an hour or something. But let's see how long it takes, shall we? <laughs> Hear me, my heartless. Attack the white husks. Sweep them away. What are you, nuts? We're never gonna win. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here, sister. You pathetic coward. Leave the White Ones. Turn your attention to Sora and his friends. Uh-oh! It's good to know the priorities of Maleficent, am I right? Anyways, we got ourselves a new nobody that's there, and it's actually the most annoying nobody in the entire game. Except it's dead now, so I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> that was a dancer. Dancers are the most annoying nobodies for two reasons one because they don't stop gunning for you when they're trying to kill you so when they are prepared when they're like at almost near death they will try to grab sora and essentially have a little bit of a field day dance with him you don't want that to happen because their dance actually takes a lot of hp considering the fact that there is just like a little bit of dance thing the only way you can stun them from this is that you can either use a spell or you can go ahead no oh, i actually cannot um i couldn't even um error recover from that uh you can use a spell or you can use your limits or anything else for that matter because if you're not going to be able to stun them by using normal means i'm just going to say that now it's impossible <laughs> Where's Maleficent? Looks like she ran away. Well, that was pretty lame of her. I guess we picked the wrong side. <sighs> lame, lame. She is so okay to be sure. You know. right? I mean, you look at me. Maybe she was really and I'm really lame as all. So I figured she'd be okay to turn around and go with us without me. Because she seemed that way. Treasureless wings or something. I thought this was a um, big chance. Hey, if you're looking to pick you know? sides, why don't you pick Leon's? They can always use help. Does this Leon have any treasure? Yeah, lots of stuff. Perfect. Come on. Who are you? Oh, we're nothing worth mentioning. Just three treasure fanatics. Later, taters! Did Leon really have any treasure? <laughs> we don't have time for you. Sephiroth the one who's supposed to be the dark part of Cloud's heart? Huh. Did Cloud tell you that? Then he must understand now. 
Just what are you gonna do to him? Nothing. Cloud is the one who hungers for darkness. You said he's got a score to settle with you. I see. He wants to meet me again. Then I should give him what he wants. That last bit of light is always the hardest to snuff out. Now we have ourselves an exclusive Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix cutscene. And this is essentially where our post game is at, ladies and gents. That hole there will be where we'll spend the duration of the majority of our adventure. Not now, though. We don't really need to go there. Because, in all honesty, we can't even do it even if we wanted to. Not yet at the moment. Actually, you know what? I lie. We actually can do it now. The issue is is that uh, it actually has nothing to do with the fact that we can or we should. It's the fact that the enemies in there are pretty high level. Probably like, well, not high level. They they, they just hit very hard. Now, honestly, now that I think about it, I don't think any of the enemies, uh, none of the monsters or heartless in this game have levels per se. They just have stats that are pretty annoying. Crimson Jazz? So you guys are just musical references. Oh, you guys are- wait. Oh, you guys are musical references. Silver Rock, Rock Music, Emerald Blues, Blues, and Crimson Jazz. Honestly, I didn't know that. I didn't know that they were still... Okay, so they still did have the musical motif going for them. The only one that doesn't is the Bookmaster because he's not anything of that sort. It chases its target with determination while scattering mines, so be wary when fighting this creature. When its HP gets low, it places a large mine. Avoid it before it explodes. It easily resists magic, so don't be shy about using the Keyblade. Okay... Does it mean? I don't even know what that means. I guess. Okay, whatever. Anyways, nobodies. The dancers. A, a high ranking nobody. It skates around the ground and quickly moves away when approached. Wait for the end of its attack to retaliate. When it approaches with a low posture, look out! If cornered, it retaliates with his buddies using kicks and other attacks. Fight carefully when outnumbered. And what does the game do? Because they think that they're funny, they end up outnumbering us. We'll help! Sora, behind you! I know, right? <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so this is when I use Stitch here because Stitch can actually prevent these guys from doing their Okay, no, I lied. They they can still do it guys. They're they're still terrible. Uh, you know, maybe you should have uh, maybe you should have the magic lock on. Yeah, maybe you should uh, stop telling me what to do. <laughs> Anyways, the nobodies are the the dancers are pretty self-explanatory. They're just only annoying because of the fact that they have that one ability which they will can they will constantly come at you because they think they're funny. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they won't. Then again, utilizing magic ends up helping out a great deal. Hi, you thought that you could defeat me, but I managed to defeat you. Great. Whoa, okay. Sometimes they just decide to just do Oh wow, I think I just literally just got comboed to death. Okay, you guys are you guys are chill. So if you're like at a death at death's door, um, I'm about to say Yuffie, Stitch will use his ukulele to go ahead and help you out. As you saw there, I tried using fire and it did not care for my fire dances, and it still came. Oh, okay, F magic doesn't do crap to them. They just keep coming after you like freaking creepers. <laughs> The king's in the bailey. You better head over there. Got it.
Whoa! Think you can handle this many? Well, it might be tough if one more shows up. Hmm. Then that'll have to be the one I take care of. What? You're fighting too? <laughs> Sephiroth! I understand that you've been looking for me. Yeah. Once I get rid of you, the darkness will go away. Can you do it? That darkness comes from your own dark memories. Do you think you can erase your past? Shut up! Face it. You turn your back on the present and live in the past. Because the light of the present is too much. You don't know me! Cloud! <sighs> I know. Because... I am you. Leon, everybody, hang in there. Alright, so everybody kind of already makes this joke already, but before we actually go down there, I'm going to go save so I can get rid of Stitch. Okay, buddy, see, listen, I don't want to, no wonder you guys are so annoying, even though I like jazz music as a whole, but when they're like trying to kill me, they're not fun. I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know what's killing me. I can't see. Oh, man. Whoa. All right. There we go. Cool. We done. We good. Jeez. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, the, the joke is the joke is, is that the next cutscene that we're going to have is actually super freaking long. And uh, it was it's not in um, the original for obvious reasons. It was never in the original to begin with. <laughs> Anyways, let's actually save here. Let's go to the world map, recover ourselves. A new episode was added. Battle your way. The great mall of the valley is buried in enemy hordes. Work together and bring the battle to an end. I don't think they're kind of connecting the, um, the poo book. That kind of wouldn't really make any sense considering... Let's I check, we don't have any. So, yeah. I love how I had to get off of that just to get on, just to, I don't understand that. What do you guys say? There are too many enemies even for Leon to handle. You gotta go help them out. You should be able to get to them through the broken Bailey wall. Hurry, Sarah. Why aren't you guys fighting? Well, protect the city, you go after the enemy boss. Don't look so worried. Have a little more faith in me. 
I, I don't. You just got your butt whooped by a bunch of Heartless last time I checked to go ahead and go meet Pooh. I don't have any faith. I'm sorry. As much as I wish I could, I, I don't. Anyways, I do like that cussing with both Leon and um, Cloud talking. I find that so, so cool as a kid, mainly because I, I liked it, the Final Fantasy cast. Anyways, enjoy this long cutscene. Okay, fellas, you've got to go find Riku and Kairi. But Leon and the others are friends, too. Don't worry. There's already lots of help here. We'll take care of this fight. But I promised Leon. Donald, Goofy, take Sora and get going. Riku, Kairi, give me a little time, okay? We understand. We'll go search for Riku and Kairi. Right. Watch for danger. You be careful too. Wait, you guys. Strawa, do as you told. You're coming with us whether you want to or not. Come on, Strawa. You gotta be good. Gotcha. Well then, skedaddle! Let's go! Whoa! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Oh. Hope you can forgive us. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten.
It has been far too long. Friend. Zaxion! Zaxion! Right here. What is it? Where is Lord Zemnis? His usual spot. The Chamber of Repose? Yes. Go and see for yourself. That isn't funny! I suppose I have no choice but to wait. But the clock is ticking. Time is running out. What to do? Why is he never around when I need him? It's almost as if he knows I'm looking for him. No. You know, I don't like that place either. What about you, Zexion? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. Have you forgotten, or were you procrastinating? As if. I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. That puts the organization's count at 11. And since I've been working so hard, I had Lexius take my place for the day. I want to rest up for tomorrow, so I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Is that so? Well then, I will leave you to it. I have work to catch up on. Good day. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Isn't it time you told me about Xemnas's secret? How long ago was it? When a bunch of warriors wielding key-shaped swords appeared and unleashed a spectacular battle. And when it was all over, all that was left was a man lying unconscious without his memories. Xemnas, er, yeah. I mean Xehanort, was found by Ansem right around then, wasn't he? Your point? The Chamber of Repose. If you recall, that's where we spent our time researching the darkness that resides within people's hearts. It's a graveyard that was sealed by order of Ansem the Wise. The first thing Xemnas did once he got rid of him was to undo the seal and build a room in the back. Ever since then, he holds himself up in that room when he can and he talks to someone. But who? For all I know, he's the only one in that room. Need I repeat myself about eavesdropping? Not eavesdropping. Couldn't hear what they were saying. Dying to find out what it was, though. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? I know I would very much like to focus on my own duties. As you should with yours. For we need to prepare the new facility immediately. But there are only eleven of us in the organization. We're going to need a few more hands on deck. What new facility? Oh, you mean Castle Oblivion. What does Xemnas plan on doing with that place, anyway? He already shared his intentions with us. But did you know there's something he didn't share? The Chamber of Repose is part of a pair. The Chamber of Waking is the other. Another graveyard, if you want to call it that. It was constructed by someone other than Xemnas himself. And that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend.
Hey, you guys are looking lively. Scrum! Didn't we catch you messing around in the underworld? How'd a wimp like you get into Organization 13? <laughs> I bet you can't even fight. Yeah, but we can. You shouldn't judge anyone by appearance. Oh, I told them they were sending the wrong guy. Who is this kook? Remember, the organization's made up of nobodies. Right. No hearts. Oh, we do too have hearts. Don't be mad. You can't trick us! Silence, traitor. Now it's time to fight the very first organization member, Demix, the Water Zatar Fool. Demix will always start his fight with the Dance Word Dance, and you must defeat all of his clones, or else you won't be able to do any damage to him. Demix also has a bunch of counterattacks ability. He has one reaction command that's pretty pathetic to go ahead and um to fail if you just keep mashing the triangle button. Seriously, it's actually really easy to beat. Once you have to manage to defeat all the clones, that's when the real fight actually begins. You can go ahead and end up comboing Demix two times until after that he will end up counterattacking. So you want to be careful to try to end up counterattacking him again. Booyah! And that's his, um, I guess, showtime? I don't really know what to really call it. Anyways, if he's in the air, he will end up counterattacking with his water ability. So you do want to go ahead and be careful for that. It's kind of a fairly easy um, battle. This is... I'm not going to go ahead and go into my... Um, my drive form because as I stated before going into a drive form in an organization fight is actually kind of bad because the anti points increases to um, to um, what is it to it's actually the, the number is a lot higher is what I'm trying to say so you don't want to so you kind of do want to be careful for that all right and I think the perfect person to utilize for this is actually Stitch. And the reason why I say that is because Stitch actually will end up protecting you from most of Demix's annoying attacks as I keep getting up getting hit by them because I'm stupid. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that could also help too. <laughs> but that's the reason as to why I like to use um, Stitch for that. But other than that, that cutscene is supposed to basically explain many things in the series. But we know who that armor that Xemnas was speaking to, and it was essentially Aqua's armor from Birth by Sleep. If you remember Aqua, she was the, she was beaten by... Well, not really beaten. She essentially saved her friend because of the fact that he was, you know, trapped for good in the realm of darkness. I'm trying not to go ahead and go too much into detail with it, mainly because of the fact I know that if I do, I'll end up going so fast by it, it'll be kind of bad. Oh, wow. Stitch, you are amazing, my dude. And the battle's over. And that's it for Demix, and we end up getting ourselves the Blizzard ability. This part's gonna be longer, so strap in. We're in for the long haul. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> Anyone from the organization who'd like to be next? Hey, Sora. Go ahead, Cardinals, them. Yeah, we gotta go help our friends out first. Oh, sorry. Then let's go! Aha! There you are! You sure have lots of friends to help! So... 
I guess we better all pull together and finish this battle for good. Yes, yes Your Majesty! Majesty. No. Hey, you're the king's captain. You gotta get up. Come on, wake up. I'm sorry about the ice cream. Goofy? Oh, oh, Goofy. This is not happening. It can't be happening. It can't. They'll pay for this. With Sora of Rage and Mickey's Rage combined, this party thing is a lie. Donald is not with us. <laughs> it is time for the Final Fantasy Roundup, where all the cast from Final Fantasy will end up helping Sora. I completely forgot to put Vicinity Break on, or Vicinity... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The move that actually is good. So, Demix is out of the picture, we will end up not having to worry about his mourn later. As of right now, we need to go ahead and showcase the power of our magic capabilities. And also, the ability of a limit form, which we'll be showcasing later, not now. You're right. Luckily in this, I can go ahead and showcase all the beauty that is Limit Form. What you're seeing though, is that the cast is actually utilizing all of their final abilities. Leon is going right into his desperation move, utilizing his Lionheart ability or Blasting Zone or whatever the heck you want to call it. And honestly, I don't really know what the game actually calls it, but hey, whatever. Got ourselves the abundance of enemies here. Also, I'm gonna warn you now, don't die. Ooh, that was spicy. But no, in all seriousness, don't die. Because if you die here, you will have to fight Demix again. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding around. You actually will fight Demix again if you die here. It's kind of bad. And it's also significantly worse if you're speedrunning the game and you're forced to do this fight again. Trust me. You do not want to suffer through that. I never had it happen to me, but I've seen it the first time in a, um, in a randomizer, or not really much in a randomizer, in a, um, in a modded game, and uh, yeah, you had to do it again. It's uh, kind of bad, and it's stupid. <laughs> it's really, really stupid. But yeah, that's why you kind of want to be careful. Booyah, look at me go, look at my skills. They are the goodness of the goodness, and I love it so much. Seriously, oh my god, look at, just look at me go. I'm just, I'm just, I cannot be stopped. And now Cloud is going into his, I guess, Advent Children Omni Slash. Doesn't really look like great without the, it, it looks kind of lame without the, um, without the wings. Just saying. That, that That's just my opinion. <laughs> and Limit Form, level it up. And we are done here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but... I'm guilty. Hey, fellas! Goofy! Goofy! You know, that really hurt. Aw, Goofy. Of course, Your Majesty. I get bumped on the head all the time. <laughs> Again. 
And we've gotten Cure. Don't know why we got Cure out of that, but eh, we, we got it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> why did we get Cure? Uh, I don't know. I haven't even have I even used Cure like at all? I think I used it once. I think I don't even remember if I've used Cure like at all at any point in this game. Uh, I mean, hey, if I did, then cool. If I didn't, um, oops. <laughs> But anyways, Goofy is back. Did you guys really think that he was knocked out? I mean, doubt it. Anyways, it is time not doing this now. That is such a kill timer there. And this is a map. And we got facility. facility. I'm just going to stop trying to pronounce it. Anywho, let's continue. As I said before, this is a long episode. I do not want to separate this into parts. Huh? What's with them? Hey! It's the guy who's got on someone. You mean it's his nobody? The leader of Organization 13. Wait a minute. Now I know. Wise Ansem, I am here to seek your advice. I'm glad we have the opportunity to speak like this, my friend. I'm intrigued by your hypothesis, and I'm finding it difficult to stave off the urge to test it. Still, I'm concerned about the stability of the worlds. Yup. That's what worries me too. The doors that appeared. The place the heartless seek. I fear my research may have brought this upon us. Master Ansem. Regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. Now I remember, Xehanort, Ansem's apprentice. The leader of Organization 13 is Xehanort's nobody. Let's go! Move it! You got what Xehanort did away! Right! And now it's time for Sora to show his most badass strength in the entirety of Kingdom Hearts until Kingdom Hearts 3. It's time for the 1000 Heartless battle. And this is your perfect place to go ahead and level up limit form. The main gimmick to be able to actually complete this a lot faster is to using those sentry bots to go ahead and end up snagging them and using their powerful laser abilities. It's the only means of kind of beating this a lot faster because personally, if I don't utilize anything else, the rising sun takes way too long. So what we're going to do, end up hitting it, snagging. It's really annoying though to try to snag the, um, the thing because Sora kind of jumps awkwardly. So, you know, you kind of want to just be sure to just just gotta just do this the way how the heartless are spawned however because uh, all you got nothing but this 
I guess I should probably also go into detail the obvious elephant in the room. Yes, when this game was first being promoted in magazines, they had the picture of they had the pictures the picture was showing this this cut this scene here but the way how the scene was portrayed wasn't as what people thought that they were gonna do what people thought was we were gonna fight behemoths wyverns from hollow bastion or, un, or other things in general and to be honest that would have been very cool Unfortunately, Kingdom Hearts 2 is very limited on what it can do. So that's kind of the reason as to why I feel that they couldn't even do it even if they wanted to. It would have been very nice if they were able to, but unfortunately, they just do not have the capabilities of doing it. Maybe next time. Kinda. Actually, no, to be fair, they kind of do do it next time. And I'll go into detail with that later. My feelings for that is basically the same. It's pretty good. You know, it's pretty nice to go ahead and end up seeing all that shenanigans happen. But other than that, this is a fairly easy match. It's not over it's not difficult. The only difficult part is is that if you die, you have to do it all over again. <laughs> Which you do not want to. But as long as you keep using the lasers, using your limit forms as such, you should be relatively a-okay. And all honesty, I'm not even lying. <laughs> it's it's a very easy um, battle to get through. The laser, like the laser attack, is a thing that ends up destroying enemies. Hell, you can actually start seeing the enemies literally pop into into the battlefield. It's kind of funny. But yeah, and that's really it. This is a lot. This is this. You do the same thing even in the final mix, even in the original version. It's this is this is not just a final mix sort of thing. No, you also did this in the original version. I never did because I didn't know how you're supposed to actually do this stupid fight. <laughs> I thought it was like, I was like, oh no, this this, this is taking way too long because my hands were cramped when you had to deal with um, what is it? You had to deal with all these guys and keep using pressing the triangle button constantly. But no. Once you end a match to do that, you get Guard Break, which is the move that I was thinking of with the whole piercing attack. Where's the king? Come on! Xehanort! How long has it been since I abandoned that name? Out with it, nobody! Where's Kairi? Where's Riku? I know nothing of any Kairi. As for Riku, perhaps you should ask your king. He's gone. Show our duty. What's going on? Way to fall right into their trap. It's a setup by Organization 13. Xemnas is using you to destroy the Heartless. That's his big master plan. Xemnas? The guy you just saw. He's their leader. Got it memorized? X-E-M-N-A-S. Organization 13 wants to get rid of the Heartless? Man, you're slow. Every Heartless slain with that Keyblade releases a captive heart. That is what the organization is after. 
So what are those guys gonna do with your hearts? I'm not telling. Tell us! You! You're the one who kidnapped Kyrie. Bingo. The name's Axel. Got it memorized. Where is Kyrie? Please, just tell me! Look, about Kyrie, I'm sorry. Axel! Uh oh! We'll ensure he receives the maximum punishment. I don't care about any of that! Just let me into the realm of darkness, okay? If it's Kyrie you're worried about, don't. We're taking very good care of her. Take me to her. Is she that important to you? Yeah, more than anything. Show me how important. Please. So, you really do care for her? In that case, the answer is no. You run! Are you angry? Do you hate me? Then take that rage and direct it at the Heartless. Pitiful Heartless. Mindlessly collecting hearts. And yet, they know not the true power of what they hold. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. What in the world do you think you're prattling on about? Kingdom Hearts belongs to me. The heart of all kingdoms. The heart of all that lives. A dominion fit to be called Kingdom Hearts must be my dominion! Maleficent, no! No more Heartless! I do not take orders from you! at bay, you devise a way to vanquish them forever. Maleficent. Do not misunderstand me. I shall have my revenge on you yet. Maleficent! Leave now. I don't take orders from you. <laughs> but what about... Now then, where did we leave off? Huh? Which side are you guys on anyway? The Heartless ally with whoever's the strongest. Yes, Sora. Extract more hearts. No! The hearts! Maybe everything we've done... Maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything! 
Sora! Donald! Goofy! Relax. Those three aren't going down that easily. The Keyblade's chosen one. He's a lucky kid. See you soon. Sora knows the truth now. The more heartless that he defeats, the closer he is to becoming our perfect puppet. This new knowledge will make him that much harder to control. What does it matter, really? Whatever his circumstances, Sora has never been able to help himself from saving people from the Heartless. It's what his pure little heart wants. There. The dice have been cast. Things are in motion. He can't stop this. Nothing is set in stone. If the dice aren't in your favor, it will share Demix's fate. The fun is in not knowing. Isn't it? What is the point of betting on something if you already know the outcome? Are you sure that defeating him won't derail the organization's plan? If he is to die so easily, he is of no use to us. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. It's not in my nature to hold back. I guess sometimes help comes from unexpected places. Sure does. Maybe everything we've done, maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles. You can't be trusted to do anything. Huh? What's this place? It must be the realm of darkness. Kyrie, Riku. What? Who's there? Why would that? Are you sure you want to open? That? Gorge! It's the gang from Twilight Town! There's Hainer, Pence, Olette, and, uh, um... Roxas. Yogarama! No. The name just popped into my head. This is... Roxas. Are you sure you want to eat that? Chunky, no, sweet.
Not yet. I gotta look for Kyrie. A photo and some ice cream. Hmm, wonder if there's some sort of clue. And who would have left them for us anyway? Riku? You think? Just this feeling I got. Yeah! Well, I was there. Hey, what if the Heartless are back again? I can't use the Keyblade. That would only help the organization. But Sora, I think you have to use it. If we don't fight them, the Heartless will keep on hurting folks. All right. And before we actually end up finishing up this, we have an answer report after for countless times, like, geez. My efforts these many years have come to fruition, with the world I govern having become a president, a paradise worthy of being called Radiant Garden, nurtured by the pure water that is source of life. Fragrant flowers bloom in abundance, and the people face each day with hopeful smiles. But where, but where there is light, darkness also lurks. As noted in my earlier reports, I must solve the mystery of this darkness of the heart. This paradise depends on it. I shall perform an experiment to probe the depths of the person's heart. One of my own apprentices, ex Xehanort, has volunteers to be a subject. The young man has served me ever since I nursed him back from the death's door some years ago. He had lost all his memories at the time, but later showed remarkable intelligence, curiosity, and readily absorbed my teachings, gaining deep wisdom. Any mental immaturity is surely due to his young age. If I explore Xehanort's heart with psychological tests, I may be able to recall the past locked away within. My apprentice even has also shown great interest in Xehanort's memories. But, is he really the right subject? Xehanort does indeed in ex exhibit extraordinary talents. Too extraordinary. Perhaps they are even superhuman. Oh, you have no clue, my dude. Anywho, that is actually the end of this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. It's actually one of the longest episodes <laughs> compared to, I think, like the first episode. But now all the worlds are reset again. So you have to complete the worlds again, just as followed. So yeah, um, we have to revisit the worlds again because the worlds are in danger. At this point, we are now at the second half of Kingdom Hearts 2. We are almost done with the game. But now the game actually ends up showcasing those wonderful locked things that I was talking about. As I stated before, we were going to visit these worlds again. And uh, I wasn't joking. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode for when we go back to Pooh's world before heading back to Land of Dragon. See yous!